Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna test those products for you. The question is which one gonna last and which one gonna offer the best result for the money. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put rust converter on both wheel of the passenger side to see if the rust converter really helps the paint to last longer. And on the driver's side, I'm only gonna uh, apply paint. I'm not gonna put the rust converter like I, I do on the passenger side. And on the passenger side, I'm gonna test spray paint versus liquid paint applied by hand. I'm also gonna do the test on the driver's side without the rust converter. And trust me, when the winter where I'm living, are really hard on steel wheels. So we're gonna see that really quickly. I really want to try those projects because I want to see which one is the best and which one gonna last the longer. So I'm gonna make a review in one year after the winter to see which one get the better result. First, I'm gonna use a wire brush to try to smooth out and remove every rust uh, with a buffer. So we're gonna see uh, what kind of result we can get with that. Don't forget to put your glass. You can use those cheap wire brush, but it's let on and uh, it's not very powerful with a drill. I prefer to use buffer. I'm gonna use a small one to reach there because with the grinder I cannot. And now I'm going to use a shop vac to remove the rust dust. And now I'm going to use a 120 grit sandpaper to try to smooth out the rim to get uh, the smoother finish that I want. I'm going to use isopropylic alcohol just to try to remove any grease and let the paint grip the better it can on the wheel as you see we remove a lot of dirt I'm gonna take another clean one <clears throat> and now I'm going to use a tire gel to help uh, the paint to not bound on the tire. So be careful to not put tire gel on the rim because the paint will not stick. And now I prepare this cardboard just to help to remove the excess. I don't want to go crazy. I'm just going to place the cardboard where I want during paint. So now I'm going to start with the rust converter. That's it. So the passenger side will be with the rust converter and the driver side with, will be with only uh, the paint. I'm not going to put any primer on it because they claim that this is all in one uh, primer and paint. So I'm going to start with a light coat and uh, put three layers of black trim clad paint. So the wheel on the driver side is prepped the same way that the passenger side. I buffed it, I sand it, I clean it twice with uh, the uh, degreaser. So now I'm ready to paint and I put my gel around the tire. So it's gonna be hard to have uh, the smooth finish because there, there is a lot of rust on the side. Uh, many videos on the uh, internet gonna show you perfect mint result, but I'm sorry, I live in Quebec, Canada, and this is horrible for uh, steel rims. 
So I'm gonna do the best I can with this kind of result. I'm gonna show you, maybe on camera it looks great, but at the eyes, it's not perfectly flat around the edge. I really try to sand it and buff it to make it smooth, but it's it's very not that easy to do. So this is the first layer. I'm gonna let it dry for five minutes and I'm gonna come back and put a second coat. Some tips when you paint the wheel, you want to have a, a rag and clean the nozzle and make sure you shake it very well because if the paint is too thick, you're gonna clog the nozzle of the can. So you really want to shake it well. And when you have finished to put the coat, reverse the can and just take a spray like this. It's, go it's just gonna let air out of the can and not paint. So you're gonna be sure that the nozzle is not uh, clog because those paint are really thick and they have tendency to clog the nozzle So I'm gonna apply paint with brush paint and I want to put two layers because I want to be sure the coverage is good because it's really thicker than spray paint so I'm gonna take the time to do it correctly I think the spray can will do a better job because that for the moment uh, the paint is more smooth uh, with a spray can like this uh, for sure with this method the result is not gonna be much beautiful than the spray can but to be honest I really don't, don't care I just want to not get the look with the rusty and crusty wheel I prefer to sacrifice beauty but uh, for longevity of my job anyway I really want to try this paint even if it's not my favorite way to do it. I, I would prefer the result uh, with uh, the spray can for sure. So this is the result between spray paint and paint by hand. Tell me in the comment which one you think uh, it's the spray paint, the right or the left, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. This is the spray paint this one is a little bit nicer to the eyes but when you are five feet away you can't tell which one is spray paint so this is it guys for the video i'm gonna make an update the next year at the same date and um if you are interested go take a look to my channel and uh, watch the video about brick galliper paint it i done a video similar to this one so thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.